What's good, everyone? I'm back for another one. If you all know who I am, I'm Mark. That means you're new. Go check out the other videos, of course. You can, of course, watch this one, too, but check them all out. I got lots of content. You all know what the deal is. So this video's topic is going to be my opinion on the brand High Point. And I'm sure by the last video I put up, you could have guessed this was going to happen sooner or later. All right. Now, to put it plain and simple, their pistols are complete trash. I don't know anything about their PCCs, really. I've heard some okay reviews, but that doesn't mean too much to me. You know what I mean? Uh, this is going to be a pretty damn short video, all right? But let's just get on the topic of their PCCs because that's going to be the shortest part of this video. If all I'm hearing is okay reviews, I haven't even heard one legitimate good or great review about these that should tell you you guys are doing something fucking wrong that should tell you that it's uh it's not 100 percent the thing you do best i'm not gonna lie to you i have no clue why high point makes guns personally i have no clue all right i haven't heard you know like for example if you take uh if you take like a g2c all right and they're like, oh, yeah, well, what uh, what would you rate it on a scale of 1 to 10? They'll be like, oh, the price, the reliability, it's like an 8 or a 7, whatever, right? And it's like, dude, they, why, high point is like negative. Why are they on the negative? You know what I mean? I, I, I've only heard, you know, okay reviews about their PCCs. I haven't heard anything that's great. You know what I mean? Uh, they as the PCCs go, I've heard maybe like four or five out of ten, you know, type of reviews. That's it's, you know, uh, that's just the best way to put that. That should already tell you that's the best they offer. And as a firearm company, if okay, like maybe it'll be okay, is the best you can offer. Doesn't that tell you guys something as far as what field you need to be in? You don't need to be in you know, the field of making firearms, but whatever, let's move on to their pistols, all right, absolute trash, I'm not going to lie, I've seen, I have seen, all right, look, y'all ever, uh, y'all ever had a garbage bag that, like, ripped a little bit in your garbage can, and a little bit of liquid got in the garbage can, right, so it's, like, kind of got that trash smell, you know, it's, it's nasty, right, I have seen more reliability from that when I'm trying to get it off. That shit will stay on that garbage can reliably. It will do what it needs to do. It's stuck on there. I see that that shit is more reliable than a fucking high point. Or at least a high point pistol. Once again, I've only heard okay reviews about the PCCs. Essentially, though... From what I've seen about the high point pistols, because I promise y'all, I have more self-respect than to own one. I have too much to do that. <laughs> but, hey, let me just clarify this right now. All right, this is the, uh, actually, no, no, fuck that. I'll wait until the end to say it, because this is just going to make the entire video for y'all. All right, but back to what I was going to get to. The pistols that high point makes, overall, they are not the best. I've seen a lot of reliability issues. I've seen a lot. First off, let's talk about how chunky they are, actually. Let's fuck the reliability, because the reliability is not even there. Hate to break that to y'all. But how chunky the fucking slide is on that gun, how big the gun is, simply for just holding seven, eight rounds of nine millimeter is not fucking worth it. It's not. It's not. I'm sorry, y'all, but that is a bad trade-off. It really is. I get less rounds and more weight. You get, oh shit, hit a water bottle. <laughs> my bad, y'all. Good thing it was not open. But back to what I was saying. You get absolutely fucked by doing that. <laughs> you see what I mean? It's just, look, it's not a good, it's not good. All right. Uh, the reliability is absolute shit. They have every malfunction known possible to man. And you can argue, oh, yeah, well, every gun eventually malfunctions. Look, I'm not saying there aren't a lot of variables to cause a malfunction in a gun. However, 
when a gun is brand new, fresh out the box, where, you know, according to them, there's no bugs, no none of that. It's, you know, there should be no issues with it jamming up. There should be no issues with any malfunctions, any reliability issues. There should be none at all. That's just the truth of the matter. For a gun that size to only have seven, eight rounds, right? And it only be able to shoot four, five of them at most. Yeah, that's no, fuck that. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. You know, I have too much self-respect for myself than to self-respect for myself. Great job. That was wonderful English. I had too much self-respect to sit there and uh, limit myself like that and uh, have a shitty gun like that. That's not fair. You know, you know? Uh, and I don't care what y'all want to say. Oh, well, you know, four shots is better than nothing. Yeah, but that's that's not a guaranteed four shots, one. Two, why would you want something that's going to have a malfunction? Why? Tell me. Give me one legitimate reason. If you know, because everybody knows high point pistols have a lot of malfunctions. If you know it's going to have a malfunction, why in the flying fuck do you want it? You're going to sit there and argue, oh, well, then it doesn't matter to me. Well, then what? Bro, what? It doesn't matter that the gun that I, we can assume you bought for self-defense, it just jams up. Look, if you bought it for as a collector, that's fine. Look, I, I as a collector, I may buy a high point in the far, 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 far future. That's probably the last gun on my list I would get, but I feel like eventually I would get it, but I, I would not use it for any form of defense. It would be just strictly on a shelf so I can look at that and just show people, hey, this is what a trash, ugly ass fucking gun looks like. <laughs> but you see what I mean? It's a, uh, don't, don't sit there and get something that you know is going to be it. You know, it's going to be a malfunction fucking machine. That's the best way to describe it. Just like how Glocks, they run like machines. Fucking high points malfunction like machines. That's the truth of the matter. You know, uh, I think that about covers it for this one. I have to sit there and think of just be 100% sure. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, that about covers it. All right, uh, now something that I'm sure y'all have been waiting for in this video, something that y'all have been, y'all love it. I know y'all love hearing me say it. Like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that bell. When you hit that bell, hit all. And because you don't have a high point, because you have too much self-respect, you sit there and say, fuck it. I have so much self-respect. I'm going to go watch the podcast channel. I'm going to go watch Adam's channel. I'm going to go tag both the channels in the description below as I do every video. Other than that, y'all stay safe, stay legal, stay dangerous, and have a good one. Peace. Real quick, actually, I almost forgot to say this. I would have felt like a dumbass forgetting to say this. Right as I stopped recording, I'm like, damn, I forgot. All right. Here's the simple matter of fact. Yes, high points are trash no matter what. All right. High point pistols are trash. However, I'd rather have a high point than a SIG P320. Fuck y'all. Other than that, y'all like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that bell, do all that good shit that I said before. All right, go ahead and check out the podcast channel. Check out Adam's channel, Center Fire Podcast, Gun Nut TV. I'm going to go ahead and tag both the uh, profiles in the description below, as y'all already know. Stay safe, stay legal, stay dangerous. Have a good one. Peace.